The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Philippians. So, my dear friends, you've always been obedient. Your obedience must not be limited to times when I am present. Now that I am absent, it must be more in evidence. So work out your salvation in fear and trembling. It is God who, for His own generous purpose, gives you the intention and the powers to act. Let your behavior be free of murmuring and complaining so that you remain faultless and pure, unspoiled children of God, surrounded by a deceitful and underhanded brood, shining out among them like bright stars in the world, proffering to it the word of life. Then I shall have reason to be proud on the day of Christ. For it will not be for nothing that I have run the race and toiled so hard. Indeed, even if my blood has to be poured out as a libation over your sacrifice and the offering of your faith, then I shall be glad and join in your rejoicing. And in the same way, you must be glad and join in my rejoicing. And our response from Psalm 27. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? Yahweh is the fortress of my life. Whom should I dread? One thing I ask of Yahweh, one thing I seek, to dwell in Yahweh's house all the days of my life, to enjoy the sweetness of Yahweh, to seek out His temple. This I believe. I shall see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Put your hope in Yahweh. Be strong. Let your heart be bold. Put your hope in Yahweh. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Great crowds accompanied Jesus on his way, and he turned and spoke to them. Anyone who comes to me without hating father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yes, and his own life too, cannot be my disciple. No one who does not carry his cross and come after me and be my disciple. And indeed, which of you here intending to build a tower would not first sit down and work out the cost to see if he had enough to complete it? Otherwise, if he laid the foundation and then found himself unable to finish the work, anyone who saw it would start making fun of him and saying, here is someone who started the build and was unable to finish. Or again, what king marching to war against another king would not first sit down and consider whether with 10,000 men he could stand up to the other who was advancing against him with 20,000? If not, then while the other king was still a long way off, he would send envoys to sue for peace. So in the same way, none of you can be my disciple without giving up all that he owns the Gospel of the Lord.